Hello, my name is Randy and my shop is We Crafty Creations and today I'm going to spend a really quick minute showing you how I use E-Rank to make sure I'm using the best titles and tags for my listing. Now this is my expired listings. Most of these listings never sold once um, and I have quite a few of them so I like to go back in every once in a while and try again and see what we can come up with which maybe I didn't think of before. I'm going to go to a little bit of an older one because some of my new ones I really have figured things out a little bit more. But I'm going to go ahead and go to this one right here which I think is a really great one. 3 inch custom dog magnet and I had multiple choices in here. A boxer, German shepherd, a lab, husky, dachshund, and corgi. This is kind of possibly too many options and that might be one of the reasons why it didn't sell. Um, and also out of all of the characters I had to use for my title, I had 62 characters remaining so I didn't fill my title in very full. And then if I get down to my tags, my tags might not have been the, the greatest. Just looking here, I had stocking stuffer in here because I listed this probably shortly before Christmas. And I have the word gift in here a number of times. Um, refrigerator. They're not terrible by any means, but they might not be the best tags that I could use. So I'm going to go over to E-Rank really quick. And I had already entered in... German Shepherd, just the phrase German Shepherd, which gets searched 2,057 times on average per month. And then when I go here and take a look at the suggested items here, a lot of these don't really apply to me. It's not a sticker. It's uh, not a welcome sign. It's not a bracelet. So I can't use just anything that I want. But if I look a little bit harder, I find German Shepherd Ornament has an average of 83 searches a month, which most of those probably happen towards the end of the year. Although, yeah, December 2020, it had over a 1,000 searches in December of last year. And when somebody searched this, they did click on at least one listing, and there's only 1,165 competitors in this area. So instead of focusing on all these different dogs, what I could do is focus on one dog at a time, or maybe maybe two dogs, if there's two dogs that are kind of similar. For example, I think German Shepherds and Huskies are kind of similar. A lot of people who would own a German Shepherd would also be the type of person that would own a Husky. They're both big dogs with lots of fur and um, are known to be good protectors. So it's definitely something that people would do. So I think what I'm going to redo on this listing is redo it with just those two dog types. And then I'll look at making another listing maybe for just corgi um, magnets and while I while I do magnets for me I made it to where pretty much any of my items can be a magnet or an ornament so I can focus on one or the other but then I'm always going to put in the notes that they can choose the other of those two options but since I found um, German Shepherd ornament having a lot of searches I'm going to check husky ornaments and if those seem to have more results, then I'm going to go the ornament route and I'll put some pictures in here that show them as ornaments and then I'll put the magnet option as an option on here, but it won't be the main focus. So that's one way that you can use E-Rank to, to help you improve listings. Look at a listing that didn't sell. Don't look at a listing that sells a lot and try to mess with the title and the tags. And um, don't mess with things right after you have just posted them within a, a week or two. You need to give it more time. Give it a chance to be seen before you decide that you haven't picked the right title or tags. Because um, you really don't want to mess up the um, algorithm's ability to, to take the time to, to figure out what your item is and who they should show it to. So that's it for today. Just a really quick video. If uh, you found this information helpful, interesting, or entertaining in any way, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel for more useful tips on Etsy and Go Imagine. And have a great day.